Holy wire mod. So think here. It's going to be a function. Self. And right here, we'll make a valid check. So is valid self player. So if it's valid player, then we're going to do something called set Z position 999. Now Z position is the position how far up and how far down it is on the player scoreboard. So with a lower position, you're going to be higher on the scoreboard. You're going to be more up. So if I have a Z position of 1,000 for one player bar and another position of 2,000 for the second player bar, the uh, player with the position of 2,000 will be at the bottom. So we put 999 in this one, sure, that the player is at the bottom. So if it's not a valid player, then we're going to remove that and set the position all the way to the bottom and just return and not do anything. All right. So let's end. Okay, so if it is a valid player, we're going to set the text color to a white right here. And we're going to say self score set text color to white and lastly we're going to have the ping as well if you recall that needs to have its text color set to white right here so you can change them to anything here and actually make them random colors too if you want like a rainbow effect since this ends the think function and it's updating consistently uh, many times in a second so all right so here's where we're going to start setting some values here for all those things that we set up so we'll say if self num kills is equal to nil so if it does not exist or self num kills is not equal to self player frags which should be an issue then self num kills equals self player and that's going to be frags and then right here self score we're going to set the text it's going to be self num kills okay all right so that's going to set the text and also we're going to get the frags of the player so this is going to update the frags essentially or your score the next we're going to have a very very similar format so i'm just going to copy and paste and that's going to save some time i'm going to say p name so if p name um, is not the name of the player so this is a name check to make sure that the name is always updated then we'll say p name and we're going to have to do this right here so essentially this is a kills check, this is a name check, and we're going to add do another check as well for the ping, which again is going to follow this exact same format. So instead of name, we're going to put num, num ping for p name, and instead of nick, we're going to take the ping right here. And also, whoops, I need to change this as well. So ping and we change score whoops I mean this one's ping and this one's name alright so that's all three of our checks right there now we need to check for if the player is muted so if self muted equals nil or then we can say self muted does not equal self player is muted so this will update the mute button right here. So self muted equals self player is muted if self muted. So doing a check to see 
if they actually are muted and we will update the image right here to the appropriate image to represent the player being muted which is this right here else self mute is going to have set image to icon 32 unmuted that PNG and then we're going to have self mute do click equals function self player set muted self muted all right so that's everything for muted and now we're going to have one more check and this is going to help set out the, sort out the teams on the player list remember we have a red and we have a blue team here so we want to say if they're the red team then we're going to set the position of them like 2,000 higher plus their int index and this is going to help order the table okay so then after that we have our think done oh, oh one more thing we need to actually set the z position naturally of all the other ones then so for all the red team it's going to be 2000 plus but for all the blue team they're going to see this so they're going to see self num kills times negative 50 and plus self player int index and also right here um, I need to add this as well so we're gonna have num kills right here so let's say plus num kills times negative 50 so this is going to order essentially the red team and or this one's going to order it so the player with the highest kills is going to be going to have the lowest set Z position or Z position thus they're going to be highest on the leaderboard so that's why we're using self num kills times negative 50 to help with that so um, the last part of this right now is paint and we're going to set this as a function self with height so we're going to do a check to make sure if the player is valid it's very good practice to do this then I say player then if it's not valid return and don't waste memory and all that stuff so if the player is not alive let's do a check like that so is the player alive then draw rounded box then do four zero zero with height color so we're gonna have 10 10 10 and then we're gonna return so this is going to set the color to a dark black or a dark 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 gray if the player is dead and it's not gonna bother with any of the future things if it, if the player is alive then it's gonna skip that and let's actually just make four more of those so let's say instead if the players team so let's see self player and put team is equal to zero which is the red team then we want the color to be 255 100 100 instead now if it's the blue team which is a value of one and remember you can get these values from shared Lua so it's a value of one then we want it to be instead 100 100 and 255 and lastly if the players team is team connecting which means if they're still connecting to the server then we want the color to be just a light gray now for some reason if all those fail 
then we'll have a backup here. And this will just be that dark color. So that's more of just like a backup. So, all right, so that's everything right here for this table. So let's do that. And now let us register. So we'll say player line, which is the title of this table, equals VGUI register table player line. And it's going to be of type D panel. All right. So we have all that. Um, now we have to go in the scoreboard. And we actually have to add a method for the scoreboard to add these player lines. So to do that, we're going to go to the think right here. And then we're going to say for ID, we'll do player in pairs, which is going to get through, through all the values of every single table, I mean every single um, value in this table, player get all, which is going to return a table of every single player in the server. It's going to get the pairs and um, it's going to do stuff. So the stuff being first validation check of course. So we're going to make sure that that score entry is valid. Remember we uh, define score entry in the player line above, then continue, end. So now we're going to have score entry equals VGUI create from table player line. Then we're going to have score entry right here. And now we're going to have score entry, and we're going to be using the setup on the player. So we're going to set everything up for the player right here. And lastly, self scores, add item, player, score entry. Okay, so that's everything for this thing command. So that should be everything. So. I just want to do a quick recap, uh, making sure everything is understood. So, essentially, what we did here is we created the tape, like we created the text first, the custom font. Then we go through here, make our player stuff. All this in it stuff is simply to um, set up all the panels and the buttons and the labels and stuff. Set up here is to acknowledge the player and um, think here is more or less to set the Z positioning, get the proper values for the scoreboard, and all that stuff. Uh, paint is obviously just to make the bars certain colors, like the player line certain colors. Then we register the entire table, and then whenever a player connects or whatever, the player gets assigned a player line with this think function, or this uh, for loop right here. So let's go in game and see what happens. All right, so we're now in game. However, there's a couple errors to address really quick. So, first one's on line number 21. There should be no parentheses right here. Line number 30, right here, when you're setting text color, must include the color command right here to identify a color. Line number 64, right here, there's an extra comma. And line number 121, forgot to put the parentheses here for team and line number 218 um, let's see oh yes it says it should be scores instead of score all right so now I'm just gonna rejoin the server so yeah that's to be expected since there's a lot of code like this to actually make a mistake but anyway let's get into the server and see what happens so we're now in game and there it is there's a bar for me um, if I click the avatar it'll bring up my profile I can mute people by clicking right here on the mute button I'll, let's add some players or some bots I bet that so we'll add a bunch of bots And there you go. So see how it organizes the bots by their names, and that's that set 
Z position that's right here inclu including this because this is also setting 1000 to the red team so the red team is on bottom right here as opposed to the blue team being on top it orders them by kills also so my score should be negative one so I'm the lowest on the red team if I kill myself again and somehow end up on the blue team like this now I'm the lowest member on the blue team so that's how you separate the teams and all that stuff and um, assign mute buttons and stuff all the bots get muted at the same time um, because they, they share everything with each other and you can't get to the bots profile but that's alright so I know this is probably really confusing uh, if you have any questions on the topic feel free to let me know and in the next video we're going to be adding title bar which is not going to be so long I promise anyway I'll see you in the next video